What's up guys, it's me, Janne here, and in today's video I'll be going through three stages that are good for practicing different kinds of driving skills in dirt rally. And the reason why I'm doing this video is because there isn't like a dedicated practice area for driving in dirt rally like there is in dirt 4 or in dirt 3. So uh, yeah, let's begin the list. First stage is Forgeta Korva, and the subject of practice is hairpins, since uh, this stage is pretty much the stage equivalent of living together with a woman. I mean, there's like shit ton of hairpins every fucking where. But to get something out of the practice as well, it's good to remember how to take a hairpin. So you're approaching the hairpin, you hit the brakes, you downshift all the way to first, and just as you're turning into the corner, you release the brakes, hit the clutch in and pull the handbrake and the car will just rotate beautifully through the corner and it's not a long pull of the handbrake, just a quick one so and then you get back to the accelerator and lift the clutch and there you have it and yeah this is a really good stage to practice hairpins on second stage on the list is the pont more reverse stage and the subject of practice is junctions on gravel since yeah here on the first split of the stage there are four different types of junctions to drive through so it's really good to just go through the first split and then restart and then again go through the first split and restart and over and over and over again to get more of a feel for junction driving on gravel and uh, yeah there's two ways to go through the junctions on gravel you can either use Scandinavian flicks so basically turn you turn away from the corner on the braking and then you flick the car back into, into the corner and get onto the throttle and right it makes the car turn in really really easily or then you can use another way to drive the junctions as well which is a bit more of a straightforward approach meaning that you approach with a much more straight line with a proper like a circuit racing line you approach with the car straight and you brake and then as you turn in you just slightly just a little tap to the handbrake and then the car will sway out the rear end a bit and then you can get the car to rotate through the corner and uh, yeah you can use different tactics up to your liking and uh, yeah this is a really really good stage to practice those gravel junctions if you wish to do so and the last stage on this list is fluke juggling reverse and the subject of practice is junctions on tarmac. And the reason why I chose junctions on tarmac to be a whole different thing on this list is because the driving style between tarmac and gravel junctions is completely different in my opinion. Some of you might disagree but feel free to be wrong. Uh, on gravel you pretty much break, do all the braking in a straight line before the corner and then you apply some accelerator and you go through the corner in a beautiful power slide but that's not the case here on tarmac yes we have way more grip and it's actually faster to drive like a circuit racing driver here so uh, yeah we break on the entry yes but we break all the way up until to the apex and then on the apex there's a slight overlap of brakes and throttle as we step off the brakes and onto the throttle but it's quite simultaneous when you do it. For example in here, brakes all the way up until to the apex and then off the brakes and onto the throttle and keeping the car in a tidy neat line and not sliding it. That's the fastest way on tarmac. Of course there's the exception of hairpins uh, where you have to use the uh, handbrake to be as fast as possible to make the car rotate a bit more onto the corner by locking the rear wheels but uh, yeah good rule of for driving corners on tarmac is 90 degrees and less uh, of an angle having corners you should drive like a circuit racing driver and when you go over 90 degrees then you should aid the car's rotation around the corner with the handbrake since you can get the car pointed to the direction where you want to go faster and then you can step onto the throttle faster as well and you can leave the braking a bit later too when you're using handbrake but um, yeah it's a really really good stage to practice junctions on tarmac this one and to sort of also learn to 
judge whether you should use handbrake or just do the circuit racer approach since there are quite a few corners here that are tricky just slightly over 90 degrees but it's still faster to go with the circuit racing approach in my opinion and yet if you tend to understeer on these circuit racing driver corners so to speak you can just give it a slight yank just a little blip of handbrake to make the car just slightly rotate more and that will help with understeer through junctions and those are the three stages that I could come up with with this short time that are good to learn different driving techniques on dirt rally stages but um, yeah if you have more let me know in the comments and you can do the same that name the stage and then put the subject of practice in there as well but uh, yeah that's all for now thanks for watching please like share and subscribe you know the drill all that usual YouTube uh, subscriber whoring stuff trying to get more famous here <laughs> And uh, yeah, that's all for now. Thanks for watching. See you later. Bye-bye.